greetings, everyone. That's interesting. Greetings, everyone. So I'm just playing around with the new, uh, the new golden nose flute. It's a beautiful instrument. You can tell the tonality versus the silver version. It's totally different. It hits different. Greetings, Amber. Greetings. All right, let's tap into uh, passion. Let's talk about passion. Passion versus purpose. Passion versus purpose. And what is the the driving force behind life? In the aspect, it's passion. You're passionately connected to life whether you like it or don't <laughs> and that is in the, the subconscious of reality the subconscious of the natural rhythm the natural law <laughs> that that also ties hand in hand with purpose right this purpose is what we somewhat give value to and in hindsight everything has value everything has value so purpose is part of the foundation for sure but it's also passion, which ties deeply with a creative force, and a creative force outside of the unexpected, outside of the expected, sorry, outside of the expected. So when you bring those forces together, the passion or even the purpose, even without knowing the purpose, your passion though will help drive the purpose or magnetize a purpose into existence into actuality into physicality all dimensions so that is the wild connection between strings if you will in the symphony of life literally so <laughs> that, that's so fun greetings 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 Yeah, so do you guys have any questions about Scalar? Uh, definitely tap in. Uh, these Scalar experiments that people are sharing by themselves on their own accord, and they're going to get gifted a special gift. I'm telling people, if you at least do this experiment, document it, tag me for at least, uh, I'm going to extend it to, to maybe nine days, to at least nine days you will get a gift towards the end so and not just you don't have to also do it on fruits you can also do it on plants you know grow plants the same way I mean uh, even if you have a scalar plate if you have a scalar plate and you place your plants next to it or it's just in the field if you can document any before and afters we're also open to that as well uh, even if you have a farm, I know some farmers out there got a scaler from me already. So even documenting that, you know, we still want to give back in that sense. And I'm really happy for you guys to do it on your own accord and really see the results you're seeing. So I'm breathing more life into that expansion and that connectivity for sure. Yeah, but any questions on scaler, guys? Any questions you have, let them fly. Here's another one. You can see the. It took me a while to realize. I'm like, yeah, actually, the one on the left has more spots than the one on the right. Major difference. These are just stickers. Stickers. Like I said, you can scalify anything because we live in a scalar field. It all depends on just how much access you're tapping into there is no such thing as creating a scalar you're just gaining more access to it because everything is and will ever be so oh i'm gonna have to turn off the comments here so we can read this together so the scalar plasma projector 
uh, it may increase muscle mass after an injury promoting healing. You can see gains about 1% in muscle mass and a boost in 10% to 15% in muscle function within the five to six weeks of undergoing therapy. For the best results, you should do three or more treatments in a week. So that's just to give you logistics backed by uh, tons of studies. If you go on the product page, you'll find research articles. You'll find uh, you'll find you'll find a lot of resources, and we're just adding to the pile more and more and more, and also give you guys a, a resource. Literally, give you guys a resource for yourself to experience or understand scalar in different dimensions as many uh, in many retrospects as we possibly can. Like, why not? Why not? And when you breathe more into your abundance in terms of resources and keyword community or connectivity, everything seems to flourish a lot more as history foretold us in, in long ages. All right, so let's see what else I got here. I guess we can rewind the clock here with the, with the scalar experiments. But yeah, day five, you can still tell the one avocado without the sticker is getting a bit darker than the one with. So the scalar is helping to preserve the life energy, the life force, or at least this avenue of scalar. Mind you, there's different dimensional pathways into experiencing scalar. I mean, you can, of course, use scalar in a disharmonious way, right? <laughs> And Harp has shown us that, not just Harp, but also the Montauk experiments, uh, what they recently did in Australia, and you had the government literally said, yes, we did use wave weapons, if you will, on the people. And that, at a time when it actually happened in real time, it went viral. It went, it went viral to the point where you just couldn't ignore it and then all of a sudden it just disappeared from the internet i had to dig deep for articles on that i did a whole live on that and showing you articles and what people were saying in real time everything so definitely check that out you know scalar waves in a disharmonious way or type in on my youtube devon the black airbender and the whole live is there <laughs> someone goes now I can buy more avocados versus less, okay? Yeah, tap into that. Well, let's tap, let's add on to that. So when you add more value to something, the value of that thing increases in every dimension of reality. So, of course, the quality of how you digest the avocado is going to increase versus less structured avocado, which is the one to the right, because the one to the left has so much vibrance that it's maintaining its chlorophyll, chlorophyll on the outside. So it's a very interesting phenomenon to witness in, in real time, isn't it? I saw that on my seven day experience. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop on real soon. Oh yeah, brother, yeah, hop on, please. Uh, this is somebody with some scalar tech, and he's actually into Muay Thai. I don't know if you want to hop on this live, or you meant, like, soon in, in general. Let me know. <laughs> I'm loving the I'm loving the experiment posts. Thank you. Yeah, I'm loving the fact that people are doing it for themselves. You know, doing it by themselves, seeing the results they're seeing, and... You know, don't take my word for it, just we share as a collective in many different ways. And this is one of them, and I'm given a platform to share this type of energy. Why not? Why not breathe life into that when the opportunity is there? Right? So, let's see, what else can we tap into that I haven't... Oh, by the way, the Aurea event was fire. I actually want to share a live scaler 
a live scaler experience because the faena by the way the faena shout out to or